How do I create an introductory paragraph in an informative essay? In this lesson, you will learn how to introduce your essay by narrowing the focus from a broad topic to the central idea. Let's review. How is the giant squid perceived as a monster and a scientific wonder? After reading the giant squid Dragon of the Deep, write an essay that compares the mythology and science of the giant squid. Support your discussion with information from the text. After our close reading and analysis of the article, The Giant Squid, Dragon of the Deep by Brian Switek, we evaluated the writing assignment. After generating ideas and creating the key ideas and details of the outline, we're developing an introduction to create interest and present the focus of the writing. Let's review the skeletal outline we initially created with the larger ideas to complete our writing prompt. We've identified the central idea of the essay as a comparison of the mythical squid to the scientific squid. The giant squid seems mythical and unfamiliar. The giant squid is viewed as a respected scientific creature. And we know that in today's world, the giant squid sparks curiosity from both the mythical and scientific perspectives. Ultimately, an outline will organize important details, facts, quotations, language, and statistics that will help clarify and effectively communicate the information we wish to share in our essay. The completed outline allows us to easily transition the ideas and details into the rough draft of the essay. We also need to review the central idea, which is the one main idea you want your reader to remember after finishing your essay. Everything in the essay supports it in some way, which is clearly evident to the reader. You should formulate a controlling idea and state it explicitly in the essay to help you and your readers stay focused. The central idea is more than a subject, and it is not a question. Since it is the controlling sentence of the entire essay, it should appear in the most important location of the essay, as the last sentence of the introductory paragraph. It provides the key idea to be gained in the writing. Using the key points of the outline, create a clear statement of the central idea. Create a generalized statement that will introduce the topic and create interest. And finally, ask how does this lead to my central idea? Add sentences to bridge the opening statement and the central idea. Looking at the original key ideas of the outline, we have information to develop a clear and effective central idea. We know the topic is the giant squid, more specifically the viewpoints of the giant squid. A narrowed topic still does not provide the central idea. Even the question from our writing prompt, how is the giant squid perceived as a monster and scientific wonder, is not the central idea. What are the key points of my outline? The topic regarding the contrasting viewpoints is present within the central idea, but the statement includes references to the descriptions of the mythical squid and the scientific perspective of the giant squid. And finally, the modern day recognized potential of the squid. Now that we have clearly stated the central idea, we need to lead into this with a generalized statement that will create interest. In the opening sentence, we want to give our readers some background information that will guide their thinking about the topic and catch their interest. What kind of statement can I use to get my readers attention and introduce the topic? I think that the major idea I want my reader thinking about is how amazing it is that the squid still remains so mysterious. Despite the fact that it's less common to find mysteries in nature, as scientists have so much knowledge in today's world. Let's write that as a statement. I also want to emphasize the importance of different perspectives when studying a topic. Let's add that to our sentence as well. This generalization, in today's modern world of information, very few mysteries in nature remain. However, vastly differing viewpoints help reinforce an idea of intrigue in a topic, creates interest, encouraging the reader to move to a specific statement of the central idea. Now we need to bridge the two statements by creating or adding sentences that will narrow our focus to the central idea. Through a few sentences, we can create a smooth transition into the central idea. I want to get my reader thinking about the way in which understanding develops through scientific study and debate. The next sentence encourages consideration of history and diversity of perspectives to improve insight. And the final bridging statement 
relates the previous statements to the giant squid, leading into the central idea statement, which will be the major focus of the essay. Let's connect the points from the outline to form our introductory paragraph, beginning with a generalized statement, in, in today's modern world of information, very few mysteries in nature remain. However, vastly differing viewpoints help reinforce an idea of intrigue in a topic. We add each sentence, creating smooth movement into our focus central idea. We now have a strong introductory paragraph as follows. In today's modern world of information, very few mysteries in nature remain. However, vastly differing viewpoints help reinforce an idea of intrigue in a topic. Most scientific understanding is the product of years of studies and debate. Considering the history of these concepts, as well as diverse perspectives, allows the learner to grasp a deeper, more comprehensive view of the topic. This holds true for understanding the complex creature, the giant squid. The history of the giant squid shows a mysterious monster of folklore and a scientific wonder, still seen as an intriguing part of marine biology. After completing the draft of the introductory paragraph, we will move ahead with the remaining portion of the draft of our essay. Finally, we will revise, edit, and then publish. We use the key points of the outline, creating a clear statement of the central idea. We created a generalized statement that will introduce the topic and create interest. And finally, we asked, how does this lead to my central idea? We added sentences to bridge the opening statement and the central idea. In this lesson, you have learned how to introduce your essay by narrowing the focus from a broad topic to the central idea.